Last time on the Boss Designs of Bloodborne. Having obtained the mysterious Tonsil Stone and newly empowered with insight, TB Skyen confronts the mysterious giant creatures that have revealed themselves all over Yarnum. Their terrifying grasp turns out to be a secret gateway to worlds yet unexplored, and after a long and grueling battle, our intrepid hunter puts an end to one of the amygdala at the edges of the nightmare frontier. However, a second amygdala hides on the walls of the Cathedral Ward and transported Skyen to parts unknown. What dark and terrible secrets did he find there that forced him to change his path in the aftermath? What terrifying adversary will challenge his mastery of the hunt? Find out today on Boss Designs of Bloodborne. Hunter's Nightmare, huh? Well, this is the tomb, I guess. Does not open from this side, okay. Except, of course, it's not quite the Tomb of Erden. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, no, this is a. <laughs> oh, oh, this is a different situation. This is Yarnum all tilted up. And it's daytime, too, which is interesting. Hunter's Nightmare, huh? As an opposite to the Hunter's Dream, I suppose? Okay, he hits pretty hard, I see. Hello, fellow hunter! My good fro- okay. Hey, buddy! Okay, yeah, sure. All right, fine. I get it. You have a gun. Good for you. Okay. Not easily staggered. Okay. But I guess I can stagger him with gunshots, then. Okay. My fellow hunter is not a friend, I see. Oh, come on! Really? Jeez. Okay, well, this is gonna be fun.
Oh! Oh. Oh, is that what I think it is? Old hunter cap with a wide brim that hides their sharp gaze. In the old days... Oh, I see. When hunters would turn a penny, this was part of... Yes! I have my big hat! Hooray! So, hunter's nightmare, huh? Seems like a pretty solid recreation of Upper Yarnum, especially the area around the Healing Church. But these are old hunters. Oh! Old hunters! Oh, is this the DLC? <laughs> Did I just activate the DLC? That would be funny. Those look like the beasts of old Yarnum, but with less hair on them. Yeah. No, same amount of hair. Okay. Oh! I hate you so much. Oh, they're fighting a hunter. Or, well, failing to fight one. In fact, they don't seem to be fighting him at all. Didn't even look like they were fighting back. Oh, no, he sees me. Or does he? No, he's just going... Yeah, the beasts aren't really doing anything. He's just... They're just kind of shielding themselves with their claws and... Trying to avoid him. Uh, well... Damn it! Yeah, me they will attack. Oh, me they're gonna go after, but the hunter, no. Oh good, there's two of them. Big hammer you got there. Suck it, dickhead. Down you go. Running out of Quicksilver bullets real quick. Turn back. Yeah, I guess. The hell did I just step on? Oh. These dogs are even more aggressive. God damn it. Is there gonna be a new Vicar Amelia? Or something, well, it's gonna be a boss at the cathedral, isn't there? That feels almost certain. Oh, hello. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no! Okay. One day the hunters disappeared, and Yarnamites began to whisper of the hunters' sin. Drunk with blood, chasing after beasts, they would pass on to the nightmare, every single one of them. Looks pretty cool, though. Is that good? Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Okay. Hello. Oh, you have tentacles for a face. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> I, I don't like that at all. I kind of feel like I probably can't stagger you like that. Oh, boy. This is probably a bad decision. Oh, that's a boss. That is definitely a boss. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> well, talk about a rock and a hard place. I do want to explore a little bit more first though. Excuse me. 
Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Is that good? No. Oh, he's got a little trap, does he? Nice crossfire. Okay, so what is this beastie? Oh, it looks like they killed one of them. And then we have like a sea of blood. Are those all blood-starved beasts? Oh, I don't like that. But I must get a closer look. Oh! Okay. Ah, sh Okay, well. This place is a little tough. Yeah, those are blood-starved beasts, except they're not starved. Those are blood-starved beasts who are very much full, who are indulging in their thirsts and their appetites. I see. Hey, I know this building. Oh. Oh, 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 wheelchair grandpa. Still dangerous even when dead. Right now I'm just exploring. Like, I know we have the boss. And we can go fight him, but, uh, or them, it, they, I don't know. But just for the moment. I'm curious if there's gonna be a lantern in the same location. Not so much. Oh, okay. So that's where Gilbert used to be. I wonder if that's supposed to be... Nah, that wouldn't make... Well, unless he's dead, maybe. Because the implication... The implication was... That... All the hunters here, like, they succumb to their sin and pass on. Like, it literally says pass on to the nightmare. As in... They come here when they die. That this is a sort of afterlife for hunters. Which explains why it looks so much like Yarnum, but then also has this purgatorial element. Oh, you can swing it twice. Hello. Found the trousers. Oh, <laughs> right. He's here. Excuse me. Okay. Right. I got the. I got the other badge. Uh, I should. I should really check that badge. Badge crafted by the powder kegs, the heretics of the workshop. The powder kegs' adoration of complex design and big booms, culminated in weapon designs that contrast with those traditionally of the workshop. The late powder kegs, bless their souls, had a motto. If a weapon ink got kick, it just ain't worth it. <laughs> and I guess that explains... The boom <laughs> hammer! A trick weapon... Oh! A trick weapon used by the old hunters and crafted by the workshop heretics, the powder kegs. A giant hammer equipped with a miniature furnace. When ignited and fired, it emits a volley of flame that explodes furiously upon impact. Crush the beasts, then burn them. The brute sim simplicity of the boom hammer was favored by hunters with an acute distaste for beasts. Favored by the retired hunter Jura. 
Hmm. Uh, the stake driver, with its queerly complex design, violently drives thick stakes into the flesh of foes. The stake driver allows for high damage critical attacks, but is difficult to use and leaves its wielder wide open. But none of this should bo bother a mere powder keg. Wait, so how do I get back to the DLC? Oh, there it is. Right. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. So that's definitely a boss fight. I should probably have fire paper on hand as well. Because he that looks a lot like a cleric beast. Hello. You are hostile, right? Like... Okay, this cleric beast is on fire. Maybe fire paper isn't gonna do me much good. Okay, so once I take the thing from his hand, he's gonna wake up. Eye pendant. Eye pendant which unlocks the surgery altar. There are two cathedrals in the hunter's dream. One lies past the River of Blood, and the other contains the private research hall of the Healing Church. Only chosen members of the Healing Church or their lamentable patients can enter the research hall using this eye. Grants eyes to the surgery altar skull. He's gonna... there's gonna be a fog wall or something. Really? Hang on. Hang on just one stinking minute. I came here for a fight, though. You are on f Wake up! Is it dead? I mean, it is kind of on fire, so... Like, I guess it's not impossible that it would be dead. The way that it's lying there, it's like it's being... ...fed water by the statue above. Well, okay, I got myself all worked up for nothing. But no, no, I guess, okay. I guess the boss is this guy. <laughs> Whomst I have decided not to fight right now. But from here... Old Hunter Top Hat. Right then. Oh, there's a lot of them though. Don't want to fight them all at once. Or at all. Like, maybe they're not gonna attack? No, no, they are. If you just don't mind me, please. Ah, I see. You. Okay. You have to stop doing that right now. Okay, so one of these guys have my echoes, do they? Thank you. Yeah, they're not very aggressive, those bloods, those bloods, uh, satiated beasts. Okay, how are you going to try to kill me? Wondrous friend, a special, eventually special item. Maybe you're not going to try and kill me. Well, I can't target you, that's for sure. Treat friend with care. Okay. You're a hunter with your sanity, aren't you? Must have taken a wrong turn then, eh? You could say that. Well, we're more alike than you think. 
This is the hunter's nightmare. Where hunters end up when drunk with blood. You've seen them before. Aimless, wandering hunters slavering like beasts. This is what the poor fools have to look forward to. So, don't be brash. Turn back before it's too late. Unless you've something of an interest in nightmares. I won't say I'm not curious. Oh yes, I see. You sense a secret within the nightmare and cannot bear to leave it be. As if the spirit of Bergenworth lives on within you, such inquisitive hunters will relish the nightmare. But beware. Secrets are secrets for a reason. And some do not wish to see them uncovered. Especially when the secrets are particularly unseemly. Please don't try to kill me. Oh, hey! <laughs> Shortcut. Shortcut, I guess. Well, all right. I uh, guess we follow the River of Blood a little bit further along. Hmm. Well, they're not hostile so long as you just leave them alone. Unlike these guys. One dog is never alone. Oh, birds. Yeah. Okay, get over here. I'll take you on. God damn it. Couldn't you just ignore me? No, don't do that. Would you like to get into the melee range? There we are. That, that's a lot of bodies. Oh. Oh, they're not all dead, are they? Well, that's creepy. I give my life, not for honor, but for you. Is it me or did the camera just change? Yeah, it's pulled back a lot all of a sudden. I guess it wants me to see something here. Oh, hello. Oh, another one of those. Well, if I can avoid those, I will. Yeah, makes sense. There's gonna be one somewhere down here. I hear you. What? Oh, come on! How did he survive that? Son of a Time to find out if hunters climb ladders. Well, do ya? Doesn't look like it. How does that not stagger? How? He was in the middle of the swing. F you. F you. F you and f that weapon. But I will figure it out. 
swear to God I will. That's one. That's two. And down you go. Oh! I guess that's... Is that the same weapon? Yeah, there it is. A trick weapon used by the old hunters. The second blade is found inside the curve of the main one. In this initial form, it can be like a learned curved sword. Yada, yada, yada. Repeated stabs. Huh. Strength scaling E. Okay, so that's actually... That is actually a skill weapon. Huh. Well, that weapon is just the, the right amount of bullshit that I might consider learning it. <laughs> oh, he shot me from behind. Well, should have seen that coming. Okay, let's just hit the hunter's dream real quick. Okay, so that comes up to... Skill scaling C, which is not quite as much as my pain, but it has higher base damage. Okay, so it starts with a dash. Then you can... Right, and then... See? Well, let's give it a shot, and in the meantime, I might as well, if I'm not having the cane on me, might as well remove the gemstones from it and see if maybe one of them will do better in this thing. All right, let's use the weapon of the enemy against him. I feel like <laughs> I'm maybe a little underleveled, but that kind of makes me feel like it might be exciting to find a boss. Beware. Like, and really kind of bang my head against the wall for a bit, which is something I haven't done in a while. Let's see how this works against a dog. Fairly okay. Okay, so we got a big execution of dude, but does he have any backup is what I want to know. Oh, he's got a cannon. Okay. That's like moderately better than the guy who has an axe. Have to imagine he can use it close range too. Yeah. Right. So there's- OH MY F GOD! And I can't do a f worth of damage to them. Even with this weapon. I might be just straight up under leveled full stop. To be here. I don't think that's gonna work, buddy. Sorry, but that- That was just sad. Oh, speaking of finding a boss, this sure looks like it. That's oh Wait, Ludwig 
Oh! Oh, he has eyes on the inside. And that's his holy play. Oh. Oh lord. <laughs> Ludwig the accursed. Is that the Oh, okay. Oh, ah. oh well. I can see the church hunter garb. You can see the church hunter clothes on him. And then the sword. So yes. That is Ludwig. Okay, I want to at least hit him one time. A modest goal, I know, but still. Yeah, no, I mean, um. I kind of want to go and keep fighting him. Like, I kind of want to go and figure him out and, like, learn learn his patterns and learn to dodge. But I think I may have to accept defeat on that one. For now. A little longer than a few minutes later. Yes, hello, Mr. Travel Agent. I'd like to go on an all-expenses-paid holiday trip, please. I hope this is the right one, though. I can't actually remember. Ow. Yes, hello, hi, I'm here to kill a horse. Eventually. Please don't do that. Oh god. Oh god! Oh god, splash damage! Oh no! No 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 no! Ah! Jeez. Ow. Okay, not the best start. Ow! Okay, so he does that, and he does that, and he does that. Okay, that's a long swipe. Uh-oh, ah! How am I alive? Okay, pardon me, please. Okay, so there's a door here afterwards. I, ow. Aha, I hit him. I think that's the first hit I ever got on him. Okay. Whoop. Nope. Oh, I don't do a lot of damage to you, do I? Okay, come at me, bro. Yes. Ah, combo. Fair enough. Oh, what the hell? Was that a kick? <laughs> like, did he just mule kick me in the head? Ah! Okay, so he dashes forward with that one. A little bit, at least. Okay. Alright. You have patterns, I'll figure him out. Ouch! Okay, can't dash through that. Can't dash through that either. Oh, he dashes backwards with one of them. That's why he got me when I was behind him. Okay, don't want to get caught in that, I think. Ow. Okay. Alright, well. I did some damage to him that time. This is probably only the first phase. Like, once he gets down to half health, he's probably going to get way more aggressive or something. It's going to be a pain in the ass to deal with. Tired of me yet? Too bad, because I'm not tired of you. He shoots that goop from the mouth that he has with that's full of eyes. 
can't help but wonder if it's some kind of eye juice. Like, if it's like the whites of his eyes that he's just kind of squished. And he just kind of spurts it out by, like, ugh. <gasps> okay, he has a second face. He definitely has a second face. Oh, it's not going to get easier. <laughs> it's not going to get easier. Hello, Mr. Horseman. Oh, no. Oh, don't pick up a sword. No, 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 But now he talks, so there's that. Hello! Hi, Mr. Ludwig! Big fan! Um, could we just talk this out, maybe? Oh, this is different. Oh, I don't like that! I would like you to not. Now he's the Holy Blade, huh? Okay, he hits me right when he's, I'm right in front of him. He has remembered himself, huh? Okay, so that's... Oh, okay, so that's how he responds to you being right in front of him, is he has that. Okay. Yeah. I'm not getting the visceral! I am! I got the visceral! Thank you! Okay, good thing I wasn't close for that. Oh! Oh! That's not... That is not a beat. Okay, so that was a field. He laid down like a damage zone, and I didn't dodge out of it. I just... I dodged one time, and I was like, I'm out of it, and then it just kept damaging me. I thought it was gonna be a hitbox that just moved along the ground. Oh, well. All this running to Ludwig is probably going to get cut out, if you'll excuse me. Ow! Oh, come on! I dodged that! like it's a little like Hades you know like where maybe like on your fifth run you die way sooner than you did on your third but you're still making progress that kind of feeling of yeah yeah dodge through your bull ass swipe you piece of fuck you that swipe is bull then you know it There's some hits I'm taking that I'm not satisfied with, like... There's some hits I learned to dodge, but now I'm taking them, like, way too often. It bothers me. I don't know how I dodged that. Not that it matters, because I didn't dodge that. Oh, I'm alive! I'm alive! I'm alive! How am I alive? Ah, 
how did I survive that? How did I survive that? I do not understand, but I will take it. I'll take it. You can stop screaming any time, you know. And start talking! I keep getting it wrong how close he is to half health. But this should do it! Come on! Yes! Okay, let's start by getting our stamina back. Oh, Jesus. Nope, 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 not even risking it. Okay. Now comes this bull. Yeah. Yeah, I can't dodge backwards from that. That thing is an opportunity to heal, and I'm taking it. Okay. Ah! Okay, don't get cocky. Don't get cocky. Okay, didn't get the miss roll, but I got him! Yes! 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 Q! Got him! Underleveled who, mother... Mamma mia! I need a minute. I need a minute. I just need a sec. I need a lantern too. Thank you. Oh god, I clenched so hard. Jesus. Right. Well, before we head back to the hunter's dream, let's see what Mr. High Horse was guarding. 
what lay beyond these doors. Clouded by night, but with steady strife. Colored by blood, but always clear of mind. Proud unto the church. Beasts are a curse, and curse is a shackle. Only ye, the true blades of the church. Hmm. Well, there's a guy in there. Shrouded by night, but with proud on to be knocking his head against the wall. Okay, that looks like a place where you can die. So let's just look around the arena first. It's just all corpses here. Corpses and a sea of blood. That's where we find Ludwig. Huh? Oh! Uh, hello. Good hunter. Have you seen the thread of light? Just a hair, a fleeting thing. Yet I clung to it, steeped as I was in the stench of blood and beasts. I never wanted to know what it really was. Really, I didn't. Okay. Okay, so that's it for him then. <sighs> well, let's put an end to it, shall we? Oh, holy moonlight sword. Which I cannot equip. Because it requires 14 arcane, I see. An arcane sword discovered long ago by Ludwig. When blue moonlight dances around the sword and it channels the abysmal cosmos, its great blade will hurl a shadowy light wave. The holy moonlight sword is synonymous with Ludwig the holy blade, but few have ever set eyes on the great blade. And whatever guidance it has to offer, it seems to be of a very private, elusive sort. And my word, didn't that guidance lead him somewhere? Let's see. Didn't I get a... Oh, there it is. A carol rune discovered by the old hunter Ludwig along with the Holy Moonlight Sword. Boosts amount of life recovered by rallying. Oh, so that's a really aggressive one. When Ludwig closed his eyes, he saw darkness, or perhaps nothingness. And that is where he discovered the tiny beings of light. Ludwig was certain that these playful dancing sprites offered guidance and emptied Ludwig on his, of his fears, at least in the midst of a hunt. I see. Interesting. Right, I think before... Before we make any conclusions about Ludwig, before I send it over to Future Sky, and we are just gonna have a little look around in the area beyond him, because that, that guy banging his head against the wall intrigues me. Oh. Hello. A tragic figure. But he will shame himself no longer. He died with his ideals untarnished. He was a true hero. And earned that much, at least. Do you know why the hunters are drawn to this nightmare? Because it sprouted from their very misdeeds. No, you don't Things say. That some would rather keep secret. A pitiful tale of petty arrogance, really. High time someone exposed the whole charade. We live in a society. Now, now. Go on ahead. You seek nightmares and the secrets within, do you not? I guess that's technically true. Just want to have another listen to that guy's dialogue. 
With steady stride, colored by blood, but always clear of mind. Proud hunter of the church, beasts are cursed and the curse is a shackle. Only ye are the true blades of the church. So that's a mantra of some kind, or a, a motto. Oh, you! Oh my god, they hit hard in here. Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ! He just- he literally one-shot me! <laughs> Much as I do take pride in killing Ludwig, I do feel I am underleveled for the DLC at the moment. I think that's pretty clear at this point. So, that was uh, Ludwig the Accursed. Ludwig the Holy Blade. Ludwig the Horse, who was loose in a nightmare! And, uh, well, he died with his ideals intact, apparently, which makes him a hero? Sorta? Kinda? But I did find him standing in a pool of blood atop a mountain of corpses, so I don't know what the imagery is saying. Fortunately, that is not for me to know. That is entirely up to Future Sky to decipher, which is a good job, because uh, if he's, uh, I hope he's better at the deciphering meaning in things than I am at dodging the attacks of a manic screaming horse. Because if not, this episode's gonna be weird, but, uh, over to you, Future Skyen. Uh, well, thank you very much, Paskine. and if I never hear a horse screaming at me again, it will be too soon. Anyway, let's start with the character design of Ludwig the Accursed, who we find presiding over a room of corpses amid a sea of blood. So Ludwig is, in the most classical sense of the word, a monstrosity. He's designed very heavily around body horror, being this shambled, random mess of body parts mashed up and extruding from him in completely unnatural degrees and angles. Less a creature with any discernible anatomy and more a pile of flesh and limbs and hair that has melted into itself over and over and over again. And in that transformation, Ludwig has lost not only his humanity, clearly, but he's also lost himself, his mind, his independence of action. The remnants of his former life cling to him, his church hunter clothes and his sword and a few humanoid hands here and there, but all he's capable of doing is screaming and killing. He regains himself, a little bit of himself anyway, halfway through the fight when we apparently knock the sword off his back and the sight of it brings some of what Ludwig once was back to him. Enough, certainly, that he can stand up straight and grasp a sword, and here a remarkable transformation of character design takes place. And frankly, I want to give all the props in the world to the designers at FromSoft for pulling this one off, because now, look at what happens to Ludwig as a character. He has anatomy. Not a human anatomy, or a horse anatomy, or an anatomy that would remotely make sense from a realistic perspective, but an anatomy that makes sense from a stylistic perspective. Legs at the bottom, arms up top, and a head upon his shoulders. Essentially, the character design unfolds itself and becomes something that quite literally stands tall. It gives him, despite his monstrous appearance, a certain bearing of dignity. His lower back is curved, his chest is puffed out, and his arms are back. And in his animations, despite his still monstrous anatomy, he fights with a certain discipline and practice. It's not just a beast randomly flailing a weapon around, this is someone who has clearly had training. Now, on a practical level, I'm sure the game is pulling some little technical trick like swapping out an entirely new character model for Ludwig the Holy Blade as opposed to Ludwig the Accursed, but the effect is one of a total physical transformation, which is also reflected within the fight design. The fight against Ludwig the Accursed is fast and desperate and wild and chaotic, but against Ludwig the Holy Blade, you are rewarded for taking your time and treating the fight as more of a duel. And what this gives us is a glimpse of what Ludwig once was, the person that was lost to this horror. 
We get that as well from our brief conversation with his severed head after the fight. He has a calm and rather kindly speaking manner. He mostly just pleads with us to understand that he probably didn't really intend for any of this to happen. He just followed the guidance of his blade, which seems to be invested with some eldritch qualities of its own. And he ended up the way he was, not necessarily by being evil or cruel or corrupt, but just through the circumstances of what he was doing. And what he was doing was hunting for the healing church. Now, the hunt is a violent thing. And as we discussed in the last episode, the hunt changes us. We begin to see the world differently. We begin to perceive monsters that nobody else can see, except those who have gone through the same kinds of things that we have and gained the same kind of insight. And in Ludwig, I think, we are getting, well, same as we did with Gascoigne and Henrik, a warning of where the violence of the hunt will inevitably lead you. To get to Ludwig, we walk through a river of blood. We walk past old hunters who are so obsessively murdering monsters that they don't even seem to care that the beasts aren't fighting back. The hunter's path is soaked in blood and lined with corpses, and at the end of it, there isn't glory or wisdom or power or any transcendence to any kind of special divinity. There's just a man who has been made a literal horse's ass. And I think that's kind of the function of the horse aspect of Ludwig's character design. Like, the reason they chose that for the character design is probably at least partly that horses are associated with knights, and Ludwig is this sort of knightly legendary figure, but also that horses are just kind of weird and awkward and dumb. He isn't turned into a noble-looking centaur, he's just turned into something that, if it wasn't so horrifying, would be kind of a joke. We get to see Ludwig ever so briefly recover some small semblance of his former dignity, and then, as his severed head lies on the ground, his power of speech devolves again into the whiny screaming of the horse monster. This is not just a transformation, it is a degradation. And that is all that the path of the hunt ultimately leads us to. That is all that the philosophy of the healing church really has to offer. Blood and corpses and humiliation. The hunt leads us to blood, and the blood leads us to power and ecstasy. The old hunters of the hunter's nightmare are drunk on blood. They pursue it. They crave it. Rather like the beasts that they make their victims. The blood, the violence, is an addiction. It's a craving. It's something that once you've had a taste of it, is really hard to let go. And if you can't let it go, it begins to change you. Until you become the beast and the hunters come for you. These violent delights have violent ends. Thank you very much for watching another episode of The Boss Designs of Bloodborne. I gotta be honest, the intro to this episode may be my favorite thing that I have ever edited, and I don't care if anyone thinks otherwise. So I hope that you enjoyed it too, and I hope you enjoyed the musical montage, which was, frankly, just the only way I could think of to get all of those goddamn horse fights into the episode without making it two and a half hours long, because, because yeah, that was a lot of horse fighting. So, you know, like, comment, subscribe if you feel like doing those things. It's helpful because it makes the algorithm, you know, actually show my videos to people, which I would like because I put a, a lot of work into them. Um, if you'd like to support the channel more directly, then I have a Patreon, a merchandise store, and a tip jar. Oh yes, plenty of monetization options are available, but... If you're not in a position to be able to donate directly, which is, like, pretty common these days, or, hell, if you just don't want to, Please don't worry about it, I'm just happy that you've watched the video this far. At the end of my videos though, I do try to encourage people to 
generally speaking, if there is content online that you enjoy, especially content that's made by smaller creators or that's niche, please consider supporting that directly with anything you can, whenever you can. Because that $1 donation every once in a while is quite literally the same as thousands of views on a video. You make so much more of a difference than you think. Anyway, last bit of self-promotion. I have a second channel. I upload all of the unedited footage of my Bloodborne playthrough over there. So if you're in the mood to watch me fight a horse and curse for four hours, yeah, that footage is available over on that channel, as well as my playthroughs of Hades, which a lot of people seem to be enjoying. I'm playing through some Diablo over there. I need to upload another episode of that soon. And I've got playthroughs of old Final Fantasy games and a whole bunch of other stuff. So, you know, maybe like, comment, and subscribe over there as well, if you feel like. It. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to wear a mask and wash your hands, and when the vaccine becomes available to you, I beg of you to please take it and try to act in solidarity with those who are working to make the world a better place.